To create a new portfolio, click the button Create Portfolio. On the next page, we'll enter a title. You can enter a description if you wish. You'll want to make it available. This doesn't mean that it's available without permissions, but it does allow you to make it available with permissions. It's still inside of Blackboard. It's still private to the user until the user decides to share it, but then it will be available when the user gives those permissions. And this allows you to keep any comments that are made to the portfolio private to other viewers. Go ahead and click Submit. And let's start building our first page. You have the option here to create a header. A header will show on every single page of the portfolio. So if you want that across the top of a portfolio, you can do that. We're going to go ahead and enter this as our title page. Now you'll note as I put in the words title page, over here it's still called page one. But when I click save, it's now title page over here. Section one. I'm going to put um, welcome. And down in the bottom, welcome to my home page. And then we can select an image. You'll notice that this tool right here allows us to insert or edit an image. I'm going to browse my computer and I'm going to take a picture off of my thumb drive. Then I have the ability to control the size of pictures by clicking on appearance. I can control the size of my images by setting the width and if I want a small image, I can make that in the low 2 to 300 range. If I want a medium sized image, I can go like 4 to 600. And if I want a larger sized image, I can do 700 to 900, maybe 1,000. But uh, it just depends on what I'm working with. So I'm going to make this one a small image. And when I put that number in, and it's kind of experimentation to decide what you want, and I push the tab key then the next dimension automatically updates for me. And I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And you can see there that it's small. I can try inserting it again and making a larger one. Bring up the file. And this time, let's make it 600 wide. Press tab to update the next numbers and insert. And you'll be able to see that the second image that's been inserted is larger. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And watch when I save. Over here, this title will update to welcome. All right. If I want to see what that looks like before I leave, I need to click Done Editing. Or I can click Preview and Customize. Either one of them will allow me to view. If I click Done Editing, I go back to here with all of my portfolios. I look for my sample portfolio, and I can click View, and it will launch what I've created so far.